agony and anger. Those were the emotions some family members of Roberto Lewis say they experience as they watch from a distance his body being lowered into a grave at Lakeview Memorial Gardens on Tuesday morning. The funeral restrictions that remain in place on New Providence and several other islands in the Bahamas have left many Bahamians not only struggling to cope with the loss of a loved one, but also with the agonizing task of deciding which 10 people could attend the funeral service. Lewis's relatives say while they understand the need for safety, the emergency order makes it that much harder to grieve. You're not, you, you won't grieve. I mean, you, you're more angry than, you know, to grieve. You can't grieve. How can I grieve and I can't even go and, you know, say goodbye, let a tear drop, drop on the coffin, you know, bye, nephew. Like, you, you, you know, it's more being mad. It's not, it's no grieving going on. When, when, I'm, when am I going to grieve? I mean, this is terrifying. I'm not trying, I'm not going to pretty it up, but I just respect the law and I respect protocol, you know, but this is terrifying. Heavily armed police officers, some dressed in tactical gear, stood outside the gate at Lakeview to ensure all protocols were followed. At one point, they, along with the COVID-19 ambassadors, asked people to go in their cars and leave. Please, any of your Multiple relatives and friends of 46-year-old Roberto Lewis gathered at Lakeview for his funeral. Lewis was gunned down back in September in front of his business, The Village Pub. His aunt, Michaela Gibson, described him as a sweet, loving, and giving person and said it's been hard for them to process his death. I love once I've been here to the gate, crying, just looking at other family members up there, can't console and hold with each other. Lewis is a father of 10, which is the exact amount allowed at graveside funerals, according to the emergency orders aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19. Gibson said she yearned to be by her niece's side as they grieved the loss of their father, but like many of her relatives, was starved of that opportunity. I really wanted to be up there for my nieces and, you know, I, I can imagine what they're going up there through and they all are grieving, so no one can hold on no one, no one to hold up no one. No one to speak that peace of mind to each other, you know? I'm the aunt. I try to hold it, you know, really hold it down for, for the for the younger ones. At Lakeview, the gate is closed to those not on the prearranged list, and as security Rodney Smith tells us, they are rigid with only allowing the officiant, funeral staff, and immediate family in. Though families try a rotation system, that often fails, as was the case here. It was only at the end of the service that others were allowed in. The father of the deceased requested that some of his sons could come up to view the, the grave, but the service is completed. So we are just allowing the persons who he requested to come up, who his sons and daughters, etc., to go up, and that's it, but the service is completed. Over the last several months, health officials have linked multiple cases of COVID-19 to funerals. For The Guardian News Network, I'm Jillian Gray.